Hello everyone! Welcome to another Bloomish Insider video. Bloomish Insider series are dedicated to bringing to you informative and educational real-life topics to help you grow with awareness of both body and environment. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss an episode by clicking the subscribe button now. These series are made possible by listeners like you. Thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, back to the topic of today. 15 years old, Talua Graham, raped by 17-year-old classmate. In the bling city of Lagos lived a simple and kind-hearted girl, Talua Graham. She was a very friendly, intelligent, and sharp-minded girl as described by her mates in the high school. Girls of her age were mostly found to be active on social media, but Talua was quite different. She considered the platforms to be nothing but distractions and thus used to keep an arm's length away from it. Although one day, her cousin Kambili told her about the usage of the social media platforms and how it was so fun talking to new people and being updated about lives in general. Tolu didn't show much interest, but Kambili kept on talking to her to get involved. Babes are considered not smart if they don't show off on social media. Kambili added and worked away. After Kambili left, Tolu ignored the idea of being on the social media platform. But after some time, she thought about it. She knew that trying out the platform wouldn't cause any harm. So she created her brand new account profile. And in just few minutes, she received a friend request from one of her classmates, Tuelu Nicholas. Tuelu is two years older than Tolu. He is popular and one of the intelligent and friendly students in the class, yet cunning and mischievous. She didn't give much thought to it and accepted the friend request. Hi, Tuelu sent it to Lua, and to which Tolu replied, Hello, and this is where a new friendship began. The next day, Tuelu and Tolua shared a glance, which made Tolu blush. They started to talk hours on the internet. Their bond became stronger and stronger. They became best friends and shared each and everything with each other. Soon, Tuelu started listening to bad friends. He pretended being a friend to Tolua. He confessed his friendly love to Tolua, who didn't find anything wrong about it as there was none, and hugged him. Tolua was happy, and the friendship continued. Few days later, Tuelu texted Tolua about a late night party that he was hosting on a Saturday night. He also told her that he also invited her cousin, Kambili. Tolua lied to her parents. She was going to spend the night at Kambili's, and they allowed her. At the party, Tolu noticed the half-empty bottles of beer and whiskey lying here and there on the table. Music was bursting out so loud with dim lights. Tuelu saw Tolua in a beautiful black dress walking in. They hugged. They danced until Tolua got tired. She started looking for her cousin Kambili, who was partying herself and drinking with other friends. Tuelu took her to the bar area to sit for a while. Then, the devil got into Tuelu's head. He asked Tuluwa to test the cannabis he was smoking. Tuluwa, who never had seen cannabis nor tasted cannabis, was afraid and said no. But other people at the bar started chanting, Taste! 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 Finally, she tasted the cannabis and drank some bottles of alcohol. After which, she started feeling unconscious. She later passed out with a faint memory of Tuelu carrying her to a room. Tulua only woke up the next day with pains and blood all over her and without clothes on. This moment she realized she has been raped. She screamed at the top of her lungs and covered her naked body with the bed sheet. She cried. She managed to look for her clothes in the room and found them lying at the corner. 
This time, Tuelu walked in, still on hangover. He was not even sorry, but tried to blame Tuluwa, who was crying uncontrollably. You caused it, you know, said Tuelu. Tuluwa cried back home. Tulua's parents had been worried because Kambili was home already before her. Kambili didn't have an idea where her cousin was, except that they were together at the party last night. But it was a relief that she came home. But under that condition? The mother was furious and could not place what was really going on. She hugged her daughter to comfort her. Tulua was traumatized, speechless, and felt betrayed. Tolu's parents asked what happened, but Tolua couldn't speak. She didn't know what to tell her parents. Her mother, in her woman instincts, felt her daughter was raped. So, she insisted talking to her to know what was really wrong. After some subtle persuasion, she finally spoke. Tolu's parents were stunned with extreme rage. They thought about societal status and how people would see that. Tulua's mother decided to call Tulua's school counselor, who advised that Tulua be taken immediately to the hospital. Was Tuelu punished for his action? Before we finish the story, let's understand what rape means. Rape. Rape is sexual assault, which can happen to anyone, both older people, teens like you, and children as well. Rape is when someone penetrates your vagina or anus with any body part, like hand, fingers, or private part, or object without you giving consent to it. People like Tuelu, who rape others, feel they have power over their victims and can do anything they want. One who rapes is called a rapist. And this person uses force and threat to have control over the victim. Some drug their victims, and when this happens, victims lose orientation of what is happening around them. Rapists are not just strangers. They can be close friends, a date, an acquaintance, family friend, social media friend, stepbrother, or a family member. How do I identify a potential rapist? When someone starts being too nice to normal. When someone gives you gifts without you doing anything for the person. When someone starts touching you inappropriately, breast, penis, bottom, etc. When someone starts stalking you. Stalking can be on the phone, in school, and even on social media. When someone becomes so aggressive when you say no, when someone insists on staying alone with you on a date, when someone does not respect your space and insists on sitting too close to you, when someone tries to make you feel guilty and accuse you of not loosening up, when someone acts excessively jealous and possessive and tries to separate you from friends, when a stranger tries to give you a lift, It is better to walk in company with people you know. Avoid getting close and asking for help from strangers. When you find this people, try to tell someone close to you about their actions. What should I do when I'm raped? Rape happens every day, at every time in the day. Many families try to cover up rape because of the following reasons. When the crime is committed by a family member, when the person is an influential person and for fear of the victim being killed. To avoid stigmatization. To cover up their shame because of the societal perception of a rape victim. What's the right thing to do if you've been raped? Simply talk to someone close. It could be someone that you trust. Report rape. It is a crime. Reporting the crime immediately and fighting to see the rapist brought to justice is a good step. Don't feel guilty of being raped. Whatever happened, it's never the fault of any victim that they are raped. No one has the right to have sex with you without your consent. 
you don't have to be ashamed of being raped or any stigma that comes. Some people will tell you you dress and act inappropriately around boys. There is no justification to justify this horrible action. It has nothing to do with what you wear or how you act. It's just the wickedness of man in reality. Seeking medical help and examination immediately after the action is one important step when one finds herself in this kind of situation. Victims can be infected with sexually transmitted disease. Medical examination is important because of STDs and unwanted pregnancies. The doctor checks you for sexually infected disease and internal injuries. Medical checkups should be done immediately after the action without changing your clothes or taking a shower or even washing yourself. Leaving yourself as you are after the rape would help ensure a proper medical treatment. Immediate medical exams also helps, especially when you want to report the crime. By providing the evidence needed to prove that the rape occurred and this helps to prosecute the criminal. During the medical checkup, Victims will usually be tested for STDs, including HIV AIDS, drugs for drug victims, and pregnancy. This test will be done through blood sample or saliva or even fluid from your vaginal area. An early detection helps doctors to start treatment process for STDs, and that will greatly increase the victim's protection against developing these diseases. The treatment to prevent an unwanted pregnancy may also be done. There is also an internal vaginal examination to ascertain injury in the inner area. This helps to establish that there is a force during the rape. Doctors check for samples of the hair, scratches on the skin, bodily fluids belonging to the rapist on your clothes or body. Meet a therapist. Victims are affected not only physically, but also are emotionally traumatized. Getting an emotional attention can help victims to heal and prevent problems that follow them through their life. Rape victims feel frustrated, frightened, confused, and some feel shocked. Some victims feel ashamed or embarrassed. These feelings can lead to depression, insomnia, flashbacks, nightmares, lack of concentration, withdraw from society in the later life. Most girls' victims develop aggressiveness towards men. The best way to get help is to seek therapeutical and psychological help. Healing process with the therapist can help through a long-term healthy healing and prevent major problems like depression and suicide. Finally, no matter how you choose to heal, be strong and know that bad things happen and the ability to fight back, especially negative emotions, can bring back your power to you. The rapist wants to see you down and helpless. Don't give that chance. You are not guilty for being raped and no one has the right, no matter who the person is, to touch certain parts of your body without your permission. Shout it out, report it, Talk to someone and be strong. That will make you feel better and give you power to move on and as well, fight the offender. Was Twelu punished for his action? Absolutely. Twelu was later arrested that day. A few days later, Twelu was taken to court. The judge listened to the case and gave him the sentence of 14 years in prison because he was underage. Tulua got justice, but the trauma and the experience never left her. Before Twelu was taken out of the court, she asked to speak to Twelu, who was filled with so much shame. Everyone in attendance were surprised and wondered what it was she wanted to say. Tulua walked up to Twelu and boldly said, I trusted you. I thought I had a best friend. I was definitely scared on the day you betrayed me and my mind got murky after what you did to me, when you knew I was most vulnerable around you. But after what happened today, I do wish you would have thought about your mother who gave birth to you 
and your sister who couldn't believe the evil doings of her own brother. I wish you never give birth to a daughter, ever. I do know that you don't deserve one, neither a daughter, neither a mother, nor a sister, or even a woman in your life, because women are blessings, and not everyone deserves them. And I hope the worst of your future. Everyone clapped at her braveness to confront her rapist. That day, her parents saw the real Tolua, a Tolua who resides in every woman at any age. A woman can be as beautiful as goddess Aphrodite, but when enraged, she could be as devastating as goddess Athena. That's all for this episode, and thanks for coming by. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. For more of these topics, subscribe, and please give us a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to share with others. As always, you can head over to join us on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Bloomish Insider with the links provided below to keep up with our educational series. Thanks once again for stopping by. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay beautiful, and see you on our next video.